In this video, we'll show you how to join two pieces using whip stitch. We're using Hayfield bonus DK and you'll use the yarn in your pattern. You'll also need a darning needle, a piece of sewing thread and a pair of scissors. To start off, I want to get a piece of my yarn and snip as we'll be using this to sew our whip stitch. We take our darning needle and we use our piece of sewing thread to help thread up our needle. You want to fold that in half and place that loop through the eye of your needle, creating a larger loop that's easier to thread with your yarn. Put that through your loop, pull slightly, and then pull your sewing thread, helping you thread up your needle. We want to get to the end of our yarn. We want to tie a small knot. So we're ready to start our whip stitch. I'm going to place my two pieces together, right sides together, because I'll be working on the inside of my work, pinching them together, and I'm going to work along my edge. When sewing your pieces together, you want to make sure that you're not sewing very close to your edge, gone a little way into your piece. We're now going to secure. So we're taking our yarn and our needle, and I'm just going to go through the very, just one layer through the very edge to set our yarn up pull through till we get to close to where our knot is and then we're going to secure this by sewing in just the other side of our knot breaking the thread pulling through and this makes sure our yarn's nice and attached we're now going to pinch our work together and work the whip stitch whip stitch is a sewing technique where we're over sewing the edge so I'm going to come from the front to the back, sewing over my edge, pull through, and now I'm coming over the top. So from the front, over that edge to the back, and sewing through both layers. Pull securely. So from the front to the back, over the top, sewing over my edge. And repeating that process, binding our edge with our whip stitch. So from the back to the front, pulling our work, back to the front, pulling it nice and secure, working over our edge. over our edge. Don't worry if your yarn comes out your needle, just use your thread. Go through the eye of your needle to re-thread. And then I'll show you how to fasten off your whip stitch. To secure our whip stitch, we want to work back into our piece, just catching part of the stitch to create a small loop. We're going to pull that loop through and then with our needle, we're going to work through that loop once, twice, and three times. We're then going to pull to reach that knot down, nice and secure. I'm going to sew one more time through one stitch and part of the knot I just created to make sure it's nice and secure. Use my scissors to snip this and then I can open this out and you can see your work sewn together using whip stitch. Practice until you're confident and then head to serdar.com for more stitches, beginner kits, patterns and yarn.